what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The Democratic nominee for president, former Vice President Joe Biden, went full Joe Biden with his comment comparing the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to George Floyd's murder at the hands of Minneapolis police. Speaking at a roundtable discussion in Philadelphia, Biden said that smartphone technology has exposed police brutality in stark ways in addition to the social media virality of videos showcasing police violence. Even Dr. King's assassination did not have the worldwide impact George Floyd's death did, said the former vice president. It's just like television changed the civil rights movement for the better when they saw Bull Connor and his dogs ripping the clothes off of elderly black women going to church and fire hoses ripping the skin off of young kids. What happened to George Floyd, now you got how many people around the country, millions of cell phones. It's changed the way everybody's looking at this, he added. Look at the millions of people marching around the world. The cold-blooded murder of George Floyd has set off a series of protests around the globe with people hitting the streets in Africa, Australia, and Europe to stand in solidarity against police brutality and injustice. I got a question for Joe Biden. Are you trying to talk your way out of the election? You must be. Who the hell told you to say that? Couldn't have been your PR person. Couldn't have been your wife. This has got to be something you just said off the cuff. Trying to get some points. I understand that people are emotional right now. Ninth time, brother. No. In fact, never is the time to compare tragedies. The are some commonalities between the death. Number one, the most obvious, good old fashioned American racism. Now, I was only 18 months old when Dr. King was assassinated. So I don't recall the energy. I don't know what it was like, but I have read the documentations. I've seen the video, the photos, I've heard from historians. I've read the books. There was major protest around the world when Dr. King was assassinated. None more than in the United States. Now, I feel the energy of George Floyd. I attended the funeral. I saw him get laid to rest at the cemetery. I've spoken to his family. I've taken part in the protest. I talk about it on social media. So I can see why he would say something like that when you see all of these protests going on around the world. And what are we at? Two weeks now? We're at the two week mark, almost at the two week mark of constant protest. It's, it's impressive. And we haven't seen anything like this in our lifetime. Joe Biden is right about the technology uh, making people more aware. So we actually saw George Floyd's murder. Like we saw, we all are witnesses to murder. We, we, can, we can all testify to being a witness to the murder. That's the difference. But as far as having uh, more impact, I don't know. But it's strange that we even having this discussion because George Floyd's death, it has had a huge impact on the world. It's like his daughter said, he changed the world. And new policy is already being implemented because of it. The civil rights movement was a long movement. We knew Martin Luther King Jr. for a long time before he died. His movement was sustained. It was a sustained movement. 
And everybody knew he was going to be executed because we were in that time when he was killing all of our leaders. He even knew that he was going to be executed. That's why he said in his speech, I may not get that with you. He said, I mean, to, to hear him say that, oh man, that was heartbreaking. And I believe he was like dead like maybe a couple of days later, something like that. We got to stop trying to compare tragedies. I don't think this is fair to the memory of Dr. King or to the memory of George Floyd. I think each stands on its own merit. Each changed the world. Each is going to bring about unity. Each has brought a great amount of awareness and each one of their names will forever be mentioned. Let's leave it at that. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about?